Before this video gets started, I want to remind you guys that we are doing remote tuning on cars. If you can't get your setup to us, feel free to give us a call, 561-842-8333. Let us know what you have. Shoot us an email, info at horsepowerlogic.com, and we'll be able to get back to you and uh, give you an idea of what we can do for you. If you've got a haul tag, if you've got any, any system that allows us to remote in and actually uh, reconfigure your car, just let us know what you got and we'll be able to uh, remote in and I'll be able to fine tune your entire setup. So if you've got, it doesn't matter what you got, just let me know what you have and I will tell you if we can do it or not. It's not a big deal. So um, we've got quite a few people. So if you wanna get in on it, make sure you get on it quick and uh, get in line because um, it, the slots are filling up really fast for the remote tuning. Um, lots going on in the shop. We'll get to that this week, good old boy. But for now, we're gonna go take a ride on the skis and I wanna do a top end run so we can see what the top speed of the FX SHO is before we get to those mods. Cause we've got some mods. We got them coming, we got them hot and heavy. I'm waiting on the hall tech, that's the number one thing. So just wait for that. That's gonna give us full control. We'll bump that rev limiter up, get that boost limiter up fine tune the whole setup, run flex fuel, you name it. Anything we wanna do, we'll be able to do it with that Hall Tech. So sit down, go for a ride with us, enjoy it. And uh, let's see what the, let's see what the, uh, the ski's gonna hit. What do you think? Over 60, right? For sure. <laughs> This time we're gonna go on a little cruise. I got my boost gauge installed, so we'll be able to watch boost on that. And uh, we're gonna go for just a little ride around, uh, half a tank of gas. I figure we'll do a top speed pull uh, just to see where we're at baseline before we start doing the mods. And meanwhile, Carla's out there waiting. I got a GoPro on my shoulder here, so I'll turn that on, and we'll get some. We'll get some good. Uh, some good video. up do a back to back to see what it looks like Okay, so there we go, about 64 miles an hour. That's pretty much what we were expecting. I'll do another run in the other direction, make sure it's pretty even. Reset it. But that's about what I was expecting. 66 on the speedometer, 64 GPS. That's about right for a stock ski. Um, especially one with this many hours. 540 hours, guys. A ton of hours, but she's running good. 
So let's make a run in the other direction and see what that does. Pretty even, 64.3, that's about right. Not too shabby. I saw six pounds of boost on the uh, on the gauge, just under six pounds, like five and a half pounds of boost. So stock superchargers, not doing too bad, uh, especially for the hours. Again, 540 hours, unbelievable. So anyway, we'll do a little more riding and then we'll head back. Not a bad baseline. So there you have it. We uh, we had a nice time. We went out. We went for a nice 10 mile ride, uh, and it was just awesome out there. It wasn't hot. It was nice. The, the rain had just gone through, so it was a little bit overcast, um, and got to see the top speed of the FX SHO before we do the mods. So 65, 64 miles per hour. I was able to hit 65. Um, when I got back to the to the main lake before we put it on. I think light on gas, 65, 66 is gonna be absolutely it. Which I'm not I'm not too upset about that, considering that the ski is a 2008 and it's got 540 mile, uh, 540 hours on it. So it's just a, it's an old ski that was taken well care of, uh, but it's time to stretch its legs a little bit. So we're gonna be waiting for the uh, Haltech to come. After the Haltech gets here, we're gonna go ahead and throw that in. We're gonna do the, the prop and we're gonna do some cooling mods at the same time. So that way we can see the real gains from doing those individual items. The Haltech's gonna be number one. That's gonna allow us to put the supercharger on. So the, the supercharger alone is gonna give this thing an extra 60, probably 60, 50 to 60 horsepower at least. So uh, figure we're, we're gonna be right tapping on that 300 horsepower mark. For this hole, that's pretty good, it's a nice spot. I think that we'll be able to achieve uh, our goal and get to 80 miles an hour, at least really close. 
just with the supercharger and the prop, and the, of course the hull tech. So if that doesn't get us there, we'll do a little bit of prop tuning and we'll see what we need to do to get it there. I wanna maintain that hole shot though. I wanna make sure that that stays really punchy. Acceleration is key, zero to 60. Let's try for you know at least four seconds, zero to 60. And, uh, and then, like I said, top end, we wanna see close to 80 miles per hour. I'll show you guys in case you didn't see it in the last video. We got this bad boy that's gonna go in. This is the 2020 supercharger. So this these superchargers are, are completely updated. They got a billet wheel. They make more boost. We're looking at a 15 PSI supercharger versus the six PSI that you guys saw with the stock charger. So a massive upgrade as far as boost and as far as reliability goes too, because these superchargers um, are, are completely updated. The bearings, the shafts, everything, the billet wheel, everything is up to date. It's a much, much better solution. So that with the hull tech, the prop, uh, and a little bit of tuning, and I know we're gonna be, we're gonna have 80 in the bag for sure. Acceleration though, I wanna really see. So we'll see what happens there. Stay tuned. This week, I'm also gonna try and get the injectors in the good old boy. So stay tuned for that. We'll have a little more, a little more truck content going there. We'll see how that is, because I gotta tow that ski. If the ski's getting faster, the truck's gotta get faster. That's just the rules, it's the name of the game. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good weekend and uh, chill out for me. And uh, I'll chill out as well. And we'll see you guys in the next one.